Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, can you all hear me now? Cool, cool. Um, as I was saying, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, work this stuff with play Project Wingman in VR. I thought I could do it without my controllers, but it looks like I'll be having to. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We are playing Project Wingman, like I said. I'm trying to play it in VR mode for the most immersion experience. Hopefully it should work out. Emphasis on hopefully. I'm just uh, figuring out the control scheme right now. I might end up just having to use... Well, I probably do instead. I'll use my keyboard and mouse while flying with... or to fly. And I'll just check on chat every now and then using... Um, using... the joysticks? Can that work? Reset standing position, volume, settings. Now I feel bad because earlier it was showing me some options I could set for bindings for Project Wingman. And now they are missing. You guys can hear me now, right? I hope. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I copied your solution. <laughs> this is such a good one and you know what they say. Um, it's the most sincerest form of flattery or something like that. Oh, what did I do? That was probably not a... Oops. <laughs> What's this button do? Oh, man. Um, there we go. Interesting. Okay. Is there a way for me to get back to the... Store page. There's no binding set for... Eh. Who needs controllers anyway? Where we're going, we don't need controllers. Is it... No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright. Key bindings. Pitch, roll, throttle. Change camera, C. Change target, V. Expand map, R. Gunfire, F. Missile launch space bar. Oh man, they don't have any mouse controls in here. Huh. 
How am I going to control this? I wonder... Let's try Conquest a little bit here. See if the controls just load up. Okay. Uh, put it on easy right now. Going to actually lower the volume a bit. This is starting to break my ears. It's it's almost sounding like. Here we go. Let's push play, and we're gonna wing it. Get it, wingman. Figure out which one of these control what these controls do what. Um, oh my. Hangar, uh, T21, T4, MiG-20, FC-31. Who goes there? Oh, thanks for the resubscription, Pastel. Much appreciated. <laughs> Also, I just realized I forgot to turn on one of my programs that's necessary for this. We got to turn on Streamlabs after all. Not Streamlabs, but um, Stream... Stream Labels. There we go. Probably gonna crash and burn in the first couple flights until I figure out what uh, how the controls work. Let's see now. These are clearly not the these are the same models as they appear in real life, but they just been named differently because they probably don't have the um they probably don't have the license to use the uh, actual planes. So this is an F fourteen, huh? Wow. Looking good. All right, so F-14, um, multi-purpose missiles, purchase, wait, what? Oh, so you just started one, huh? Yeah, this thing here. UGBLs, okay. Uh, did I lose my mouse again? Shit. Okay, put this here. There it is. All right, let's try and fly this. Whoa. Beaver Bay? This is actually my first time playing this game, by the way, so I'm going to this blind. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Oh! Okay, WASD keys definitely work properly. Um. Oh shit. Oh god, oh fuck. Um. Okay, so yaw. 
up and down. Does the mouse do anything? Can't tell. Oh, snap. Okay, so I got some MiG-31s sitting there. I don't know which one, what button does what. It's definitely one of these. Uh, wh where is throttle up? Uh, man, this is wild, though. I feel like I'm gonna get dizzy playing this for for too long. It's almost like okay, okay. I need to figure out what the controls are now. Okay. That's kind of important, you know, mouse aim. Key bindings. Change camera angle, change target, V. Expand map, um, R, or is it A? Gunfire is F, hide UI is T. Missile launch, spacebar. SP module is H. All right. Um, where's the thrusters? Weapon cycle? Change camera. X bindings. Roll. Left control. Pitch axis S. Yaw axis. Curves and dead zones. Okay. Calibration. Um, hmm. Yeah, the uh, Steam controllers are definitely not set to this. Still surprised that the settings for the uh, thrusters are not here. I wonder if they were expecting me to, like, use an actual flight stick, which I have an actual flight stick. The only problem is um, it's not connected to the computer, and I have not set it up yet, so. All right. Um, okay, so. Whoa, shit. This is going to get dizzying, dizzy really fast. Wait, why is it... Why is... Okay, maybe mouse aim is a terrible idea. Never mind. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! Um. Okay. I need to yaw a little bit to the right. Fox 2, Fox 2. Yeah. Splashed bogey. It just needs to take one more. All right, so how do I how do I target enemy craft? That's kind of important. Uh, change tar change target, hold V. Okay. Is it is it this one? I think someone's trying to shoot me right now, or something. Exp 
expand map, gunfire, hide on hide. V? Okay. Shoot. All right. Changing the camera does nothing. At least I don't think it does. Let's see what novice controls does. Oh, that's what that does. Oh, we don't need those. What I need to know is Okay. Man, this game is disorienting. Which I guess makes sense, right? One second. Okay. There's gotta be... How do I lock on these things? Is it one of these things? So that's gun. This is change target. Okay. Shoot missile. Weapons. Change camera. So I am pushing the right button, but it's not... If for whatever reason, it's not... Am I missing something here, or...? Hmm. Try restarting the... I wish there was like a training mode or something. Would make thing make figuring out this game a little bit easier. Yes, please exit to menu. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, this game. I think it just froze.
What's happening to Steam? There you go. Alright, let's try it again. Default bindings for legacy apps using the controller. All right. We'll try using that then. Cool. And we're back with Project Wingman. Just trying to figure out how to fly properly. I'm surprised there's no option to like do things like The gameplay has no options for messing with the throttle and whatever. Sure as hell has options for game pads though. All right, once more then with feeling. Why does it keep doing that? There you go. Gonna try and play the campaign here. New campaign. Playing on easy mode, I guess. Usually I play games in medium or hard mode, but... I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. I could always change it if I get used to the controls. Newly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth-shattering tectonic collapse. Dismantling civilization. Hmm. From the ashes, a new era began. Apparently we're called the Monarch. Our contract with this backwater place is just about to come to an end. And, well, thank God. I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while, but it's not very glamorous. One last thing before the defense minister releases our contract. We move on to bigger. Man, what happened to the United States? Hey, Mason, you haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, but you're taking point with this operation. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. Their 
mercenary group like us who unfortunately have turned out like piracy. According to surveillance data, we have determined that they are the culprit of the recent high-profile hijacking of the Federation-registered cargo ship Mei Ling. The Mei Lings are supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Dang. Nothing specific from the Federation's contact about the cargo. However, our orders are to retrieve it if possible or to neutralize it if we can. Attempts to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, if you are to approach the island from the south, along with support and establish control over the area. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group, Ronin, to ascertain the cargo. <laughs> Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally, we'd stay out of contact with any Federation adjacent tactic. But this is the last thing we need to do for our search dog. Let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Yeah, totally easy. Get to work. Dismissed. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, we get to choose from different planes this time. The T-21, which is, it looks like an old MiG-21, a Russian plane. Or an American F-4. Also a ancient American R jet. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the other one is not, in fact, MiG-21, because there's an MG-21 right there. Not a beautiful craft. It's gonna be flying an F4 though. Got UGBLs here. Going to load some flares as well. If it's gonna let me load the flares. Let's go ahead and launch. Operation Black Flag is a go. Mm, sure, boss, whatever. What a beautiful sunlight. Why did they get to speed up and I can't? I don't see anything. Got one bogey on radar. Hmm, this is definitely not East Comet, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Feels a lot different. I was shocked when I noticed that you couldn't really, you know, speed up or anything, or at least I couldn't find the throttle. So I just feel like I'm moving at a snail's pace right now. Like, right now, I can't even find... Oh, great, we're being shot at now.
No, oh, shit. Nice, I can actually see what's shooting at me. Really wish my controls would respond though. Because it's not really flashing targets right now. I can't tell how much ammunition I have left either. That dude flew a little bit close by, didn't he? Uh, that's not a good idea. Trying to bomb things from... Where's my UI, actually? Where's my everything, in fact? I mean, great, but I need to be able to actually... Maybe resetting will fix everything. I doubt, though. Alright, so something just showed up just now. And... It's like the UI appeared for just a briefest of second and then it vanished. So you can speed up in this game. All right, cool, but where is the... Oh, no, 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 no. Which is weird, too, because it was working earlier, and now it's not. So it's like... Am I supposed to just wait for the... A uh, lock button to sound, and then visually identify the aircraft? Is that what we're doing here? And how am I supposed to do that if I can't... That's one of ours, I guess. IFF, huh?
No idea if that hit anything. Hmm. Let's try and reach up the clothes and here's one. That looked like such a small plane from up here. Whoa. Here you are. Is that a propeller plane? No way. They don't have any modern attack crafts in this, or on this base. It's kind of fucked up. Like, I can't believe that. That's insane. Insanely sad, actually. Come to think of it, I guess old school craft didn't necessarily have what we take for granted in other game in, the, in video games, do we? With regard to like a visual HUD showing us, like, oh, you've locked on to such and such. But then, how am I supposed to fight someone like this? Dude's using flying a freaking seaplane. It looks like. I mean, come on, a seaplane? I don't even know what I just hit. But hey, if it works. Looks like there's a boat out there. Cannot visually confirm it. There it is. Oh, that's very dead. <laughs> Looks like that's one of ours. Oh, man. Flying a little too close to the ground, maybe. What the hell did I miss? Looks like that's the only thing there, too. Only thing left, anyway. Alright. Very slowly... It's not letting me lock on to that. Alright, let's get into attack, Cree. Uh, where'd you go, buddy? I don't see where it's shooting from. Is it shooting or is it behind me? Come on, come on. Where are you? Oh, I understand now. Now 
Okay. Got you. Okay, I'm getting a hang of this now. Just a bit. Where are you? Come on. Eh, bogey this down. Oh, shit! Too close to the girl. Icarus what? Alright, cool. There's just one or two left. Oh, man. Where are you at, boys? Oh, I see him. Here they come. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Players? Oh, buddy. It is not your day. Got you. Where you are? Where are you? Where are you? It's dead, 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 dead. Come on. Oh, shit. Bogey down. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. I don't know how I pulled out of that one. How I pulled out of that one. Where are you, buddy? Come on, where are you? Where is this guy? Where is he?
Can't figure out where this guy is. Oh, there he is. It's actually really hard to tell who's a friend from foe just using the radar system. Good kill. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't even know which one of these things is... Which one of these is flares? To weapon four or what? Um, hmm. What's chat saying? It's making it dizzy watching you. Well, I mean, I played jet fighter games before, so I'm kind of used to like turning my head and watching the world like go around me and stuff. I guess it's just practice. I'm sorry that's making you. Um, Dizzy, if you like, we can play something else. I mean, doesn't matter to me. Looks like my controllers are about to run out of juice anyway. So we might have to change. I haven't played Ace Combat in a while either. So like that old saying goes, you get used to it. I gotta say though, I was expecting Project Women to be a lot more, um, more of a simulator than Ace Combat was, but it feels really stripped down. Like, I don't know if I'm just, haven't discovered where it is yet, but I'm used to, like, uh, throttle and everything. And also running out of missiles and having to refuel. Stuff like that. Man, I'm starting to get a little bit dizzy too, aren't I? Confirmed kill. Splash one bandit. Hey, Vim boy, how are you doing? Oh, the idea of doing it in VR. Yeah, I get you. I mean, like I said, I'm just gotten used to it, I guess. I play a lot of these games growing up. So how's you guys Friday doing? I'm, for one, I'm glad it's the weekend. If I could figure out which one of these buns fires the flares, that would be great. Hi there. Oh, what the shit? No, 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 no. I clicked out of the game, damn it. I better fix that before it screws me over later. Um, where is Axis Bindings, Calibration, Miscellaneous? Uh, video. I'm gonna have to switch this to... From Borderless to, um... Let's see here. Full screen. All right. Resume. Whoa.
No, it doesn't. Alright, you heard the lady. We are going to clean the house now. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, sh- What the f- Oh my god. No, that was cool. <laughs> oh, man. Got some Belkin War vibes there when that nuke went off. The money came through from this contract, and our opportunities in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and this contract with Lucario is still in effect, pack your bags. I looked a little into the Cascadia situation. I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. Cool. We are officially war criminals, chap. What else is new? Lucario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but well, let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia is a nation along North America's western seaboard, one of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but I hear it's beautiful. A country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, but I'm sure this hits close to the home for some of you. Moving along. There's a communications blackout both in and out of the country. And as far as the international news goes, nothing is going on except a few riots. Based on the mercenary networks, however, that is complete lies. Interesting. Conflict is brewing. We breached out and were given a rendezvous by a Cascadian group called the Independence Corps. The 
main anti-Federation is recognized by the national government. I presume the Federation has the borders on lockdown to stop people like us from coming in. So stay on our toes. If we get found out by a patrol, we'll send one of our flights off to take care of them. <laughs> Sicario is moving northwest towards a rendezvous point set by Cascadia's independence force. We don't expect any heavy resistance given our route of ingress. However, each of our fighter groups will be pulling ship, reserve fuel and ammo. Hitman team, you will be responsible for the last leg of the journey, which will take us over into Cascadia proper. Be prepared to intercept border patrol. I know some of you might not be too enthused to be fighting the Federation, so I invite you to leave with what you have to accomplish. You can only kill yourself. <laughs> Uh, let's see now. No, it's not hyper, not a big deal. I'm just being hyperbolic. Just the idea of doing it in VR. It's Saturday. I live in the future. <laughs> well, thank you for spending your future and Saturday with us tonight. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Now then, let us continue. Okay, here we go. I just need to check on something. Can you guys see the... Oh, you can. That's really cool. Hm. Alright. It's only I can see at then. Hm. Let's raise the difficulty up a little bit. Go with it on normal. What's the file section for? Creole Republic. Interesting. They are stationed at a now abandoned offshore resort. Three comma jet wing wings are supporting ground force, electronic wire for logistic elements. Interesting. Diplomat, comic, Kaiser, Galaxy, President, and Master Goose Squadron, and SOG Ronin. Is there no entry here on the Federation? I guess not. Interesting. Huh. Okay, back to the game. My head's starting to hurt again from having too tight of a headset. There we go. And there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it really? La it is really laggy. I guess I reached my limit with for the 1080 Ti, unfortunately. Could be worse, though. 
could always be worse, I guess. Start mission. I said start mission. Let's see what we got here. 6,800 credits. Should I buy a MiG-21 or an FE-4? <laughs> I think I'll save my money for now, actually. Here we go. Prepare for launch. Oh, shut up. All right, time to break off. Is it that one? Shit, I lost track. Lost visual confirmation? Got you. buddy come on there you are ah oh, shit I don't know I haven't even figured out how to work flares in this game yet. Is it the H? Maybe? Oh, it was H. What the hell? And... 
Where are you, buddy? Getting too hot for me to break away for a little bit there, lead some of them, and then handle the. There you go. We'll take this guy. Where are you at, buddy? No visual confirmation yet on where this... Man, I can't even see him on the mountains. What about you, buddy? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Got you. Whoa. Shit. Where are you? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Can't even see where the. There you are. Oh man! Ah! <sighs> the forest is strong with this one. Well, he is definitely dead. What a mess. Everyone's going after this last guy like sharks to wa blood. Can't even see where he is. Looks like he's dead, though. Yeah, he's gone. Sucks to be you, dude. Mm. Didn't think that would catch you. Come on. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Oh, right above us. Who the fuck is shooting?
can't believe I wanted to do this when I was a kid. Fly jets, I mean. I don't think I would have the stones for it. Personally. Of course, my eyes are fucked up, so I wouldn't be able to join it anyway. Oh, man. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I'm really in the danger in the danger zone now. This is really hard to play without any like visual thing telling me where they are and I wonder if I get those later with, like, later crafts. Because when I was playing in Congress mode, it showed up just fine. But in this mode, no. It doesn't. Also sucks that I can't, like, break. To make a harder turn. And stuff like that. There you are. Come on, come on. Got you. Woo! How many more bogeys we got? Much we got, we got, we got. Come on, come on. Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Got you. I can't believe I actually got someone with, mach with the machine gun. Where's the last one? Come on, buddy. Come on. I think that was... Okay. Let's see what's going on in chat. Lowe's is an open voice channel. So, attempted to crash stream. Haha, <laughs> please those you would have made a great pilot. You think so? I don't think so. Or at least, when I was younger, definitely not, because I panicked easily. I'm not sure if I- I'm a little bit more mature about that sort of stuff now, but I'm not sure if I would still be the same now. I guess nowadays, they just mostly use drones, right? They don't even bother sending actual jet fighters. I know we've been spending a lot of money into F-35s to replace our aging F-22s, but... They've been having issues. Like, the F-35 was supposed to be cheaper than the F-22, but it ended up being more expensive somehow. Man, though, I love F-22s. 
Would love to take one of those for a spin if I ever, like, gone to flying jets and shit. I actually picked up some models at a weeb store near me recently, and I was going to build a small F-15. I think I'll actually put that together and post it in the Discord this weekend. Alright. The fuck is a QRF? Oh, man. Uh. My friend, I don't think you have a... Ch I don't think you have a choice in the matter. You bet, boss. Or whoever you are. Let's take out this one. It's a little bit lonely. Fox 2. Fox 2. What a mess. Fox 2, Fox 2. Up. Oh, he's hit, but he's not out. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Have lock. Why does that one have a square over it? Hmm. Are they a special jet or something? Uh oh, here you come. This is gonna take a while. Where are you, buddy? Come on. Actually, let's go after the square person. He's probably like an actual jet fighter, a uh, jet pilot or something. There you are. Okay. Come on. Who the fuck did I just shoot down? Was that AWACS? Or an AWACS, I should say. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There's so many of them that I can't figure out where anything is. 
Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I can't see. Lost visual. Lost visual. We're getting a little too close to the ground. And it's raining down here. Are we in a rainforest or something? Where are you? 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 Come on, come on. Shit. This is getting way too, too close to the ground for my taste. Damn right I'm engaging you. Where'd you go though? There you are, you bastard. Shoot, 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 shoot. Where are you, buddy? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's a good thing I have, like, infinite missiles or some shit. My graphics card must be crying running this game right now and streaming it. Got you. That sure took a while though. I'm glad that your NPC allies in this game were actually competent because trying to kill all these things by myself would have been such a pain in the ass. I can't believe this game actually manages to be more arcadey than Ace Combat, though. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be a full-on simulator, but still. Come on. Got you. Oh, man. That's wild, actually. Having getting to fly by and watch the jet just crash and burn, literally. Last one, last one, and we could take a break to drink some water because I am dying in here right now. 
Oh shit, here we go. Awesome. HVT is down. Oh, cool. A boss fight. Hold up. Let me check chat really quick. <laughs> Whoa. Lol's time woke. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let me just get a drink of water really quick. Alright, chat, we are... What the fuck? Oh, okay. For a moment there, I thought the game didn't pause, and I was going to be upset. But it has paused, and we can continue where we left off. My index controllers have to charge, but that's fine. I can still pick... I just plug them into the computer. I can just pick them up every so often. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> Give myself a little posture check really quick. And then we'll get back to splashing bogeys. All right. Gonna skip on the flights, we're gonna go straight for the airship. Where is the airship anyway? Oh, I see. My flares failed to engage, I guess? Shit. Come on, target the AWACS or something. Target 
target the... Why is it not letting me target the, um... That's weird. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. What the hell am I even shooting at? Really wish I could see... Incoming missile! Alright. Oh... I'm shooting their ARACs down, cool. That should disorient them. Now then, for the main event. Come on. Target the airship, damn it. Holy shit, what is that? The hell is that? Do I really have to shoot down all the other jets to just to fight the... Alright, fine. Where are you at, buddy? I know I didn't kill you. you Come on One left, and then we get to kill, take out the bad boy. Where you are? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Engage this dick. I see you, buddy. Now for the main event. Getting some real ace combat vibes here.
Okay, this is starting to piss me off. How do I target someone? Like, really? Why are these settings so... These controls are so strange. That was a kill? Could have fooled me. Who goes there? Oh, it's crashing into the mountain, I see. Oh, I'm gonna crash into the mountain too if I don't- ah! I just heard the sound of someone following or something let me see what happened oh I'm dumb almost broke the game just now let me grab one of my controllers here and so I can respond to you properly your thighs ace has resubscribed thank you so much for resubscribing ace your thighs what happened to your thighs? <laughs> uh, or do you mean your eyes? <laughs> or are you talking about the G-forces on your thighs right now from me doing all these crazy maneuvers in-game? Whoa, did the play- did the, uh... Did the... The airship go through the mountain because I could have sworn it was going to crash into the mountain just now. Have lock, fire. I don't even know where it went. Where did this guy go? Oh. Oh, I see. Wait, no, I don't see. Where'd it go? It's missing. It's a big-ass bird, too, so it should be easy to find, right? It's somewhere around... Where'd it go? Bro, where is this thing? Oh! There it is, huh. Okay, now it's dead. Cool. Oh no, I have to land. But I can't even throttle down in this game. How's that? How am I supposed to do that? Slowly. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Oh. Um. I must be going nuts. There has to be a throttle down or something, and the game is just not telling me. Like, seriously. Like, I'm actually gonna go look this up now, because that's really stupid. So there is a throttle, and I just couldn't, if the options were not clear to me. On where it was. So I was thinking like, what kind of game doesn't have a, what kind of jet fighter simulator does not have a fucking Settings, controls. Thrust is left, left shift. Yaw axis, padlock axis, okay. Pitch is A is S and W. Roll is A and D. Oh, okay, so thrust is shift is control and shift. Okay. Okay. Cool. I think I got all the basic controls now of the game. Come on. This is the part that I think would freak me out in uh, real life flying. Uh, having to like... Having to land, I guess. Oh shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. That's not the worst landing I've ever made. Oh my fucking god. Thanks to your efforts, Sicario was able to rendezvous with our contact and refuel for the mission ahead. You'll be heading back out within the hour, so stay on your toes, or else your time in Cascadia will be short-lived. My god. Hello, Sicario. I'm Captain Griffiths, otherwise known as Stardust. From now on, I'll be your point of contact in the Cascadian Independence Force. I was a National Guard pilot in the Marine Corps, and now I'm working with you. We're pressed for time, so listen up. Cascadia's prosperity, our natural bounty, has always gone to support the war. For the last few decades, we have done this by our partnership with the Pacific Federation, providing aid and infrastructure to the less fortunate of humanity. The Federation, however, in recent years has used the resources we provided to forcefully expand by conflict and war. We could not let our Cascadia as a nation sought independence from the Federation outright, and 
order to prevent the Federation from imperially expanding further. Unfortunately, they turned against us. They have seen fit to unify and federalize Cascadian infrastructure as a whole. When we resisted, they turned the country inside out. We refuse to let that stand. So, here's the plan for you mercenaries right now. In northern Cascadia, Rosedower AFB was a joint base used by both the Cascadian National Guard and the Federation. When hostilities took off, however, the Federation seized the base from the National Guard. Your objective today is to take back the base into our hands. Mm -hmm. The Hitman team will lead aerial operations, wiping out any anti-air defenses. Circus, our transport aircraft carrying Sicario's airborne troop elements, will then vector in and drop onto the base to secure it. Take care not to damage the facilities too much during the attack. Sicario and other mercenary elements will be using this base after the attack. I'm sure you want to operate from an actual base anyway, according to some dirt system. So, so let's get rolling. No, I don't know about that. I'm pretty much, I'm fairly sure I love dirt strips. Mmm, dirt. Delicious, delicious dirt. Mud cakes and all that good shit. Oh my god, this game is crazy. GG, easy, well played, be back. <laughs> lulls blindness, peak lulls. I have enough points to redeem Henshin. Uh, don't don't redeem Henshin because I only have I'm currently using my 2D avatar, so it's not going to do anything. And I don't want you to waste all those points. <laughs> you're in peak physical position, condition, bro. I am. You're a straight specimen. Doubt. <laughs> Doubt that you're a straight anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me. How do I into? How do I into? Check um. Hmm. One second. I'm trying to read back messages, but I seem to be having trouble doing that right now from within Steam. So what I'll do instead is check it, take off my headset and check it manually. Hey now, where is my mouse? Here, first time chatter. Hey Riza, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. We are streaming Project Wingman right now, or attempting to, doing a little combination um, VR headset and also playing keyboard and mouse. Let me see here. So no, um, welcome to the stream tonight. Nothing happened to the so to the tracker stuff. I'm just not. You don't really need trackers for, you know, um, flying an airplane, so I'm not wearing them right now. They probably need to be charged anyway. Today was a field day at work, bro. I'm a fit fella, but I haven't worked out like that in forever. When I started here, I was told the job would make me soft, but bro, I was not expecting that. A soft Iceland who is also hard inside? It burns. I can feel the burn. Insane Iceland. This is a neat looking game. I'm glad you think so. Full speed ahead, baby. No landing, only crashing. The plane is on the ground. I'd say that's a win. Soft pilot. Peak lulls blindness. This is why I can't be a jet, fi jet pilot in real life. I actually do have to wear glasses and whatnot. You're a straight up specimen. GG easy. Well played. I have enough points to power. Hydrate and posture check. Thank you, Riza. Let me go ahead and um, get those right now. Also, while I do that, Thank you. I also agree that glasses are cute.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, chat. The lulls has refueled. We are ready for to preparing for takeoff. T minus three, two, one. And we're still playing on normal mode. Ah, oh, man. Just readjusting my headset so it's peak comfortability. The um, gasket, the face gasket, is kind of hard on your face after a while. I think I should look into getting a replacement for that or something. Star admission. Is he going to let me choose my airplane of choice again? Yes. Got 15,000 credits. Got a MiG-21 here, it's just an interceptor craft. An SV-37. Never seen an SV-37 before. Is this a... French jet? Which is a strike craft. And I guess this is an FE-4, except better, right? Hmm. What is a... I'm assuming, from the SV, I want to assume that's a Russian vehicle, but... I can't be sure. Oh, that's interesting. The full version of the FE4 has far more slots for weapons. You got a MLAA here. Short end, a semi active air. High damage, high tracking capability must remain painted by pod for usage. Multi-lock anti-air missiles, longer range with multi... Ooh. You're going to use those. Triple volley unguided bombs. Alright, so what do we got here? Okay, selecting SP weapon. So for special weapon one, what's this thing? High impact standard missiles, packed with extra explosive charge, slow travel speed, and slower reload rate. Okay. Um, for slot two, we're going to get. We're going to bring. A heavy gun pod. And for slot 3, we're going to put in some multi-launchers. Multi Alright. Let's launch. My face, my uh, skull bone, my cheekbones are starting to hurt. Alright, first I need to learn how to change weapons, right? Whoa, this looks cool. All right.
Oops, uh, that was the wrong one. How was I aiming at? Yeah, let's go straight for the jugular. Still surprised there's no HUD to think of though. Unless I turn that setting off by accident and I just need to turn it back on. Would well, sure be helpful if I could actually see what I was shooting at, you know? Damn, this miss this MLR MLRS is great. I'm gonna take out this guy now. Just throttle up. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Hard turn, hard turn. Where are you, buddy? Ah! Shit, below me. Come on. Oh, I'm starting to get dizzy. <laughs> the G-forces are getting to me in real life. Got you. Okay. Those are not the MLGS. Okay. Uh, hide or hide unhide G Y. Oh shit! I can't believe I've been playing this whole game without the U I this whole time, and I thought it was made like that. So I was having to find everything the hard way. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed.
Hold on a second here, chat. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, unfucking something. Ah! Uh. There we go. Putting that there, put this here, put this here, do that there, put this there. Okay. Now then. Okay. So that's what those things do, huh? Okay. I thought I had lock. Now I do. Okay, multi lock, anti air missiles. Cool. Now that I can actually see what I'm fi fighting against, let's go to town. This game is so much easier now that I can actually see what I'm talk what I'm painting. Really wish I packed more bombs though. Those would probably have been useful for this mission, you know. Oh, you're not getting away, buddy.
Who the fuck is shooting at me now? Confirmed kill. LCS. Box two. Oh, must be a boat of some kind. Russian warship, go fuck yourself. Target down. Let's go for some aircraft this time. Awesome. I love that. Looks like most of them missed, though. Oh, man. If I break too much, I'm going to end up stalling in air, and that is bad for hopefully obvious reasons. There we go. Woo! Gotta speed up, gotta speed up, gotta speed up. No, shit! Can't see. Aircraft damaged. Oh, man. Now this feels like a regular uh, jet arcade style jet simulator or jet fighter game as opposed to earlier. I thought for a moment there that I would actually have to play without the UI and that would just be kind of insane to be honest. Raise up, raise up, raise up, raise up! <sighs> the aircraft is badly damaged on top of that. Let's see what y'all are saying about me. Uh, Keck. <laughs> we have reached our maximum altitude of whatever the heck I want. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Back to the game. Okay. Hulls at 62% though. Not looking good for us. Not today, buddy. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, I'm a dumbass. I crashed. Got too close to the ground. Let's try it again. Now that I can actually see what I'm doing.
Prepare the big guns. <laughs> Those guys are pretty far away. Probably not going to be able to make much use of these multi launchers from that distance. I should have packed more bombs. Might as well use them up anyway, see what happens. Boom. These boys are going to get in a little bit close and personal. To take this, buddy. This one's flying a superior jet to me too, an F-15. Should be much much faster than my F-4. I guess the F-4 is kind of iconic though. Oh man. I uh, almost lost track of him for a second there. I think the game's starting to lag a bit too. Aircraft is damaged. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Come on. Ow. Stop scratching my paint job. Come on, reload, reload, reload. That's a hit. Splash one bogey. Got a, Got a good tone. Yeah, all right. That ship is still up. Let's go ahead and take this one over. And the ghost of Kiev flies again. Looks like we got a lot of bogeys up there. Switch to the uh, multi lock anti air systems, please. Come on. Goodbye. Come on, maybe hit, 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 hit. Uh, one down, one still up. Switching to standards. Fox 2, Fox 2. Tango splashed. <laughs> oh, yes.
Boom. Oh, we got another one here that's trying to lift off. <laughs> guns, guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. I'll show you a good kill. How are them apples? Oh, shit. I didn't mean it. It's kind of wild that you can actually look over the edge of your cockpit to see him crash to the ground like that. Alright, load up the, the uh, multi-launchers again. Oh, uh, this buddy managed to survive. Not for long, though. Nice try, kid. Game's lagging quite a bit now, actually. So much armor in those things. All right, hard left. You're next, buddy. Sure, a lot of these. Uh, let's not crash into the plane. If you could do that in Ace Combat, I assume you can do that in Project Wingman as well. Oh no. One target remaining, or maybe two targets. Who's counting? Got you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Save a bunch of missiles just for y'all. Lots of misses, but I managed to hit one of them. I love this music, too. It almost rivals Ace Combat music. Hard left, hard left, hard left. That guy took it on the chin, too. Game's really starting to lag now. I'll penetrate your cap line. How about that? Come on, come on. Oh, man. Got you. 
Okay. How many do we got left? Well, we got like a couple, maybe? Take him out. They're flying F-18s. Come on. Oh. It's getting hard to keep up with these guys. Am I out of HISMs? Okay, we'll have to use the standards. Got you. Oh. Uh... Almost there. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Now for this one. Got you too. <laughs> cool. Oh, here we go again. Alright. Coming in for our soft landing. I think we're good here. Coming in at 270 or 260 knots. Come on. Gently. 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 Wait, what the fuck are those red things? Oh, almost crashed into some telephone poles or something. Okay, no! Tilt down! There we go. Safe landing. Mission complete. Woo! This game is kind of tiring. <laughs> it's rough around the edges, but as far as forward operating bases go, this isn't the worst it's been. The base didn't sustain too much damage. There's room enough for everyone, even the other crewmen. The Independence Force of Cascadia is now the collection of true Cascadian sovereignty, and when the time comes, we'll see Cascadia rise to its own liberty without the Federation. I've been instructed by the remnants of our national government to be your liaison for the duration of your contract with us, of which I'm told the Kaiser is going to sign later. To be truthful, I don't agree with your way of life, but you've come to Cascadia to aid us, and for that, I can't be faulted. We'll pay you what you do, as long as you give us your best. Get settled in. We need you up in the air soon. Uh, one last thing, Emperor. We're going by our captain, Corporation Constanza. I'm 
pretty sure my name is public domain in regards to Sicario. However, we've gone to great lengths to keep your hidden. If you break it, it's on your ass. You know how bounty hunters are if they have a name. Mm -hmm. Dismissed. Mm, I can't believe I'm playing this game on three hours of sleep. Listen up. We're about to get started. A lot of mercenaries from around the world have made their way into the city, as I'm sure you've seen. However, Sicario is currently one of the only groups that can throw around enough fighters to aim an air war. Cascadia's National Guard was quickly scattered and taken out by Federation military forces when we originally tried to force them out of town. But they came without mercy. Eliminating more than 30% of our active forces. These last few weeks have been disastrous, and we're on the verge of capitulating into a full blown guerrilla war. We'd like to avoid this, and because of that, Sicario will be deployed immediately with several of our units currently in need of support. Hitman team, you will be deployed to an agricultural area to the south. One of the independence forces surviving the challenge has been driven there by the Federation Offensive. Presently, a collection of Allied officers preside over a rather notable amount of manpower. The Federation is currently engaged using air and ground units, so a multifaceted loadout is suggested. You might catch the Federation off guard, however, anticipate retaliation in short order. Launch and lift the siege. If that battalion falls, our forces won't have enough manpower or command to organize again. <sighs> what is chat up to? <sighs> Ice, you look how I feel right now. Uh seven thirty-five. Not doing too badly on time. We're actually about two hours and thirty minutes in. Let's go ahead and table Project Wingman for now while we play something or do something a little bit more comfy. How's that sound? Because I'm starting to burn out from having this headset, wearing this headset for the past two and a half hours. Uh, playing, sitting down. I'm not used to it. I'm more used to standing up and doing things like actively, if you know what I mean. Oh shit. That's, um. <laughs> there we go. Why is it not letting me return? How do I get out of here? Can I just all that for my way out? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh. Wait, why is it trying to shut down my computer? Please do not do that. Uh, okay, Alt F4 there. Cool. It's time to put you away. Steam index, please. Quit. Kanbanwa 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 Oh my Discord thing has died Going to open up 
B, C face. And I need my glasses too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's switch this to just chatting. Not sure why, not really sure why Discord reactive images decide to die all of a sudden. There's probably no exact reason for it, to be honest. Don't really feel like attaching my arms today either, because we only got about half an hour left of hanging out. At least for today. I'm thinking about doing another Bob Ross stream tomorrow. Any of y'all interested? Saw some cute artwork, or cute paintings that I can try and replicate using Krita. Not entirely sure what I want to do for the last few minutes of today's session. I do, I'm supposed to have a collab with uh, Headhunter and Camu tomorrow night, but I'll be going to my godfather's 70th birthday. So I'm not sure how it's going to work out yet. I have this kind of plan where I might bring a laptop with me. And pretty much uh, watch the movie with them while at the party. Because the party's at 5 and the stream's at 6. So I still got some time to hang out and hopefully do both. If possible. I have quite a few games that I managed to get from Humble Bundle and from a Support Ukraine from a uh, Support Ukraine bundle. So I'm more than a little bit interested in playing quite a few of these games. I also got Anno Mutationum, uh, Mutat Mutatatanum, Mutu something, something of something of another, and it seems, <laughs> to, I guess to quote Ace, it seems very stylish. Although I'm concerned about the reviews complaining about everything else with the game, but I can't imagine it would be that bad. I'm sure it'll be decent.
I have quite a few other games here I could play. I don't think I... For those of you who didn't hear me talk about this the first time, um, the developer of Neo Feud, which is a cyberpunk visual novel, um, followed me on Twitter a few months back, which is really cool. And I've been meaning to get around to playing their game for a while. It was on sale at the time that they did, so I figured I might as well pick it up now. Only cost me a few bucks. No biggie. So I'm definitely going to find some time to play an, a uh, vision novel type game on this stream. Also, I've collected a bunch of some VTubers, some of whom I'm mutuals with, into a server. We are going to be sharing stories and hammering out a nice multi-writer, um, a nice writing collab sometime soon. I'm planning those things like a month or so ahead of time, so we're not going to be doing it just yet, but soon TM, I guess. I'll let you know when that happens. I'm also interested in playing some Warcraft 3, or maybe original Starcraft on stream if possible. These are games that are very dear to my heart growing up, and I would like to see how they fare, uh, how they fare with possibly new viewers. I know when most people think of RTS games these days, they think of like, what, uh, fucking Dota and League of Legends, eh, stuff like that. So it'd be a nice change of pace, right? Mm. It feels weird having a stream now without my hands. I'm just a little bit lazy to put them on right now. Looks like someone in our Discord, Ursots, has suggested that we play Blade Runner. The point and click by Westwood Studios. So that would be interesting to play too. to do with a little bit of Earth Defense Force just for the memes. What's up, Ace? Why do you have a surprise face? Ha, that rhymed. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know why I find that funny, but that, 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 that totally just rhymed just now. <laughs> so many games here. Maybe a bit of Bravenfield. So many games here I have not played. That would be good for... Might as well introduce y'all to another Jet Fighter based game. Let me get my... Let me attach my headset really quick. I haven't finished this game yet because it's nearing the end and I feel sad for it ending. So I have a tendency to slow down my gameplay if I feel like I'm reaching the end of something. Which has become the case with this one as well. The music is banging also, yo. You'll see what I mean. Check this shit out. Now, is that not a soundtrack? Listen to that. It's a great game, isn't it? really good game. 
And right now the music is fighting with my voice. With my voice. <laughs> there we go. Much better. I haven't played this in a while. I probably suck now. I actually have a lot of jet-based games, believe it or not. Jet Lancer is one of them. I'll go ahead and showcase this, and then I'll show you another jet-based game that I like playing. Make, let me make sure it's installed first. It is installed. Cool. So let's continue. I forgot where I was in this game, actually. Apparently I'm in this hacking one already. Let's see, what did I like playing with? Autonomous drones, unguided missiles... Yeah, sure, we'll use this to out. Hey, look, Ace, it's you. Because that's who I used to be, not who I am. I was born into the organization, and I grew up with it. I used to believe in Sky Pirates that our rejection of the government was righteous, that we only stole to feed ourselves. Heck, there was even a time when I almost bought into their kooky space religion. Space religion? But when a family on the outer islands can't get medicine for their sick daughter because of a shipment you intercepted, well, I realize we are just thieves with better propaganda. Don't get me wrong, I left behind a lot of good people when I left. The people I'm trying to contact now. But there are so many rival power bases, so many people like Steve, the guy who hijacked that sub, the worst impulses were bound to win out. After what I witnessed, after what I, what I did in the name of liberty, I swore I'd never go back again. I don't break promises lightly, Ash, so whatever you do, you better make this worth it. I'm already dead. <laughs> yeah. I've legit forgot how to play this game already. I forgot how to play. This is the sort of game that makes you sweat. Like, hardcore sweat. I'm already dead. <laughs> Fuck me. You will die a lot playing this game, incidentally. Oh. That's why you're not supposed to kill the Sky Pirates. Well, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Ah. So wait, are we hacking the jet fighters? We are, aren't we? Shit. Haha. -ha. The music I love how the music just stops when you do a successful dodge almost there almost there almost there come on come on come on come on come on all right cool so bad. No. 
va a ser. Un vingado de Nash. Hello, Orson. Chin and tonic. Hey, Lenore. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good sleep. Oh my god, and you also killed his kids, or her kids, I should say. <laughs> this is the most she's ever talked this entire game. Oh, shit. Here we go. We'll play one more mission and call it the night. Strange bedfellows. I do not remember how to fire my missiles. Wait, yeah I do. No I don't. It's been too long. Really? From a dying planet, huh? Oh boy, seven waves in this one? That's gonna be fun. basically an exposition.
Actually, these are pretty easy so far. I'm kind of wondering why I can't fire any missiles. It's probably one of the uh, specials I chose or something. And I just forgot. Because it's been a while. Looks like my guns fire a lot faster when I do a successful dodge. Oh, that's totally the reason, actually. Oh my god. Really? It might not look like it, but this game can actually get really stressful. Then again, I did die several times in the opening, didn't I? That Steve guy is such an asshole. Oh man. Sniper boy. I hate these things. Forgot I had boosters for a moment there. those waves again. Great. Well, let's try to do them as quickly as possible then. Which is what you're supposed to be doing in this game anyway. i just been taking it really slow because I have to get used to everything again. Not to mention figuring out how my chip, how my uh, chip works again. Thankfully, it does not replay the cutscenes, so that will make this go a little bit faster. Got 
gotta lead your shots sometimes to fight these things. Case in point. Face the correct direction. Uh, don't crash into the water either, please. Come on. That was close. Come to Baba. Oh shit. Wasted all my shots on that. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Gotcha. familiar somehow. Wait to find another boss battle, that's for sure. right
I did a poor job. <laughs> you basically have to go really fast in order to get a time bonus. And all that good stuff. <laughs> I really like how this game has this very PlayStation era like art design. When I first started playing it, I immediately thought of Mega Man Legends. Like, immediately. That's another game I was planning on streaming on here sometime. Eventually. So I imagine that this must be the spaceship that crash lands all those years ago. Or something. This must be the next mission. curious about what this is. What do we got here? That's why. I don't actually need this one since I don't not using any charge weapons right now. It says here I do, but I don't remember how to use it. Is the problem? I suppose that would have also made the game a lot easier just now. Sometimes I can really be a gluten for punishment, you know? Was it the E this whole time? I feel dumb. but feel like I'm missing something. Is this a space elevator right here? But there's also... Hmm. Ah, well. Wanted to show you all that. 
We'll go ahead and break for now and come back tomorrow. Let's see who's available for rating tonight. Erie must have just started streaming because I don't ever remember them without any without viewers, which is new to me. Rory is playing Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven or was playing. Looks like they're they have just ended. Or did they just start? Hmm. Taz the Menace is making a Vroid model. And it's almost really good. I love the marketing. Keep up with the bourbon stick. Oh, okay. And he's hanging out with a friend. Dude Guy Joey is playing more Strive. Showbro is playing Hades. Hero's Train is doodling. We actually don't get to visit Hero's Train very often, and as much as they visit our streams, I think we should return the favor. I think this would be a comfy way to go out for tonight anyway, uh, rating someone who's just hanging out. So let's go ahead and do that. See you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early, 8 o'clock Central Standard. Raid. Hero stream. Prepare for the drop. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> How are we doing today?